Hey everyone, it's Morgan here today, and today I'm going to be showing y'all how to create this hairstyle. It's a very beachy and effortless kind of looking wave hairstyle that's supposed to just kind of give you that I woke up like this hair, even though I didn't just wake up. So if y'all would like to know how I created this hairstyle, all you need for this look is a curling wand. I used a 32 millimeter curling wand by Theory. I'll be talking about that a little bit more in the video. So stay tuned if y'all like to recreate this look. Yeah. When I get chills at night, I feel it deep inside without you. Yeah. Know how to satisfy, keeping the tempo right. Okay, so to start off, all you're going to need is a curling wand. This is the 32 millimeter curling wand from Theory. And this is a really cool wand um, because it has three other different attachments besides the one that I have on right now. And for this look, we really want kind of like bedhead, effortless, natural, I woke up like this kind of wave. So a bigger barrel um, is definitely key to achieving this look. I'm just gonna section off my hair and clip this top part of my hair up. Just with the, I think this is called like a lobster clip or something. I don't know, but it works really nicely. Turn around for you guys so y'all can see just you know, the bottom half of my hair. I'm going to be doing just one inch sections of hair. So sectioning it off in smaller sections than I normally do will really help me keep everything separated while I'm going through my whole head. So this first section, I'm just gonna split it right and left so it's easier for me to see what I'm doing. And I'm gonna put on my glove that came with my wand. It's actually a really nice glove. It kind of feels like neoprene, which is, I don't know, I just really like it. Okay, so I'm gonna take a section about this big and for this look, we're gonna um, we're gonna do away from our face and towards our face. So what I mean by that is, I'm gonna alternate sections of my hair, um, which really helps with a wavy look rather than a curled look. It kind of helps keep them all separated, and when they're all blowing a different direction, it looks a lot more natural. And for this one, I'm actually gonna be starting at the root of my head. So normally, I, you know, I start like halfway down or whatever. But for this look, I really want to get close to the root because I want there to be a lot of volume at the root and I don't want the ends to be curly. So in the front ones, like this one, like I'll probably do one, two, three, maybe four. All of those are gonna be starting away from my face and then alternating after that. And then the same on this side, I always like to start off the ones close to my face, away from my face. Okay, so I'm gonna go away from my face and gonna get it as close to my root as possible without burning myself and I'm gonna hold off a large piece of hair and when I wrap that around I made sure to get my hair really flat on the wand and that's also really key for this look. I'm just gonna let it go in my hand and I'm not gonna touch it. I'm just gonna leave it there and I'm gonna let it cool. So for the next section I'm gonna go towards my face. So I'm gonna wrap it, get it close to my root, try to keep it flat and leave a good bit amount off at the ends. Just hold it there for a few seconds. And release. And this one I'm gonna go opposite way, so I'm gonna go away from my face on this one. And another tip is Try to leave the hair out on the front. So instead of leaving it out like back, you want it like to the front, if that makes sense. Cause that will just like help finish off the wave and not leave like a weird kink at the end. Now onto the other side. And I forgot before I started this, I just blow dried my hair and just kind of made sure to smooth it out so that there weren't any like frizzies. Like, I mean, there's still a little couple frizzies, but um, try to get it as smooth as possible without like straightening it because I knew I was going to be curling it. 
Um, and I put my heat protectant in before I blow dried my hair. So that's all I have on my hair right now. And we'll put the product in after we finish the curls. Okay. So I'm gonna do this section, start away from my face, keep it flat, and try to end it in the front. To keep the curls that I just did separated from the rest of my hair, I'm actually gonna clip off the curls that I've already done. So I'm just gonna kinda bring them together and just clip them off. So. I'm not grabbing them and they're not mixing in with the hair that I haven't curled yet. I'm gonna take this section that I've clipped up down and I'm gonna make, I'm gonna clip off another back section. And the same thing, just going through and alternating curls away from the face towards the face, away from the face towards the face, etc. Make sure when you're taking down your sections that you kind of just thought I did, like just brushing through them lightly to make sure there's no tangles. Okay, so now this section's done, and I'm going to just clip it back with the first section that I did. So all those are together. Okay. Now I'm going to let down everything. And I'll probably just section one more time. Brush it all out before I let it down. Okay, so now that everything's curled, take out that clip and kind of bring everything forward and together. And already it's looking so good. I'm gonna go in with my Fade 4 Texture Take Takeover Spray. And it's just a really nice texturizing hairspray, meaning that it gives like some grip and it kind of has like a matte finish. So your hair doesn't look as shiny and as perfect and looks a little bit more lived in and messy, which is what we're going for today. I'm going to section my hair off to spray the spray and I'm going to try to get in, you know, pretty close to my roots and I'm going to hold the can like a foot, I guess, close to a foot from my head, concentrating at the roots and I'm not going to spray the ends of my hair. in the back, just kind of randomly lift up the section, give it a little spray, and spray the roots a little bit. And now I'm going to go in all over my head and kind of like shake it out I guess a little bit. So I'm going to go all through my head and just kind of massage my head and make sure all of the product is rubbed in. Okay, now I'm gonna bring it all forward. And now it kind of looks a little bit crazy, so I'm gonna go and just kind of smooth it out with my fingers and kind of separate any pieces that look a little wild and just kind of recurl them with my fingers. You can um, put a little bit of oil in the ends of your hair. So like if any of the ends that were left out were frizzy or 
you just kind of want a smoother look even on some of the ends like right there so you have like a little frizz going on put a little bit of oil on the ends and that I'm using today is the True Repair Helichrysum and Grapeseed Oil. It says this exotic blend envelops each strand and, and deeply penetrates the hair shaft to nourish and moisturize. So it says for normal damaged or chemically treated hair, obviously my hair is chemically treated and therefore damaged. <laughs> so I'm going to put a little bit of this just in the ends. I'm going to rub it together and very, very lightly just kind of grab different um, kind of set up for you guys so y'all can see me grab the ends of my hair and I'll kind of go into if there's any um, like baby hairs at the top and just kind of touch my roots just very very lightly with my fingertips I never have any oil on the, my fingertips at all now and just going in and smoothing out the ends too of these front little sections all my broken hair. Don't know if that will ever grow out. Okay, so once you kind of have that all worked in, we're pretty much done. And obviously like that step is optional. That's just if you have any frizzies or your ends look a little dry and you just kind of want to help nourish them and smooth them down, um, but totally optional for this hair. So yeah, that's the finished look. Um, it's very, very, very beachy and effortless looking, even though obviously it required a little bit of effort, um, but definitely not hard to do. And now y'all can see the back. And that's the finished look, y'all. Thanks so much for watching, and please subscribe to my channel if y'all like to see more videos, and I'll talk to y'all soon. Bye!